main field is carbs, right? Carbs, yeah. yeah. 60 percent 60, 60 of my diet comes from carbs. Nunca ha comido carne en toda su vida y vean nada más el tamaño de bici. Enséñate. It's all from plants. Hey guys, I'm Rich Carbo. We are here with Nimai Delgado. He's a professional bodybuilder. Guys, listen, listen to this. He never has eaten meat in all his entire life. Nunca ha comido carne en toda su vida y vean nada más el tamaño de bici. Enséñate. It's all from plants. All, yeah, from yeah. plants. All, all his protein comes from plants. Toda su proteína viene de, la, de las plantas. Y, y justamente lo que les quiero mostrar, amigos, que, que comiendo una dieta basada en plantas se pueden lograr grandes resultados. That's what I want to show you that uh, with a plant-based diet you can have excellent results. And here's the example. And uh, it is possible. Can you tell? Um, all the non-believers. Yeah, of course. I, he brought up an excellent point. Just by going vegan doesn't mean you're going to build muscle and you're going to grow. It always is about consistency, hard work, sacrifice, proper nutrition and education. So that's what I really try to preach to people is knowing how much of each carb, how much of each protein, how much of each fat you need in your diet in order to grow and meet your fitness goals. So for me as a, personal, as a, as a professional bodybuilder, I'm obviously going to need a little bit more protein than the, an average person just who eats a vegan diet. So it's all about first knowing how much and I think the biggest misconception is how much protein, normally that's the biggest question I get asked, how much protein do we actually need? It's a very good question because people automatically assume that plant proteins are inferior than animal based proteins. So for me, I tend to go by the rule of maybe 0.8 grams times my, my lean body mass. So for an example, I weigh 180 pounds. I normally don't get above 150 grams of protein and that's all I need to build muscle and to maintain muscle. Your main field is carbs, right? Carbs, yeah. yeah, yeah. 60 percent 60 60 of my diet comes from carbs. 20, maybe 25 percent will come from protein depending on what my goal is, whether I'm bulking or whether I'm cutting, and the remainder from fats. Tell our friends that you are competing uh... Right? Yeah, so I'm actually competing in five weeks uh, from yesterday at the Arnold Classic in Ohio, which is the second biggest bodybuilding show in the IFBB League. After Mr. Olympia, right? Yeah, so Mr. Olympia and then Arnold Classic, the two biggest shows of the year. And I will be the only vegan on stage uh, next to some of the other best athletes in the world. So just to be up there with those guys representing veganism and just showing that you can stand next to these guys who eat loads of meat and still compete and do well. And that's exactly what I'm trying to show other guys is that you don't have to follow this one way of bodybuilding and fitness and think it's the only way. There's other ways that are even healthier and will reduce the amount of impact you have on this world and will also save lives. So it's beneficial for everybody and not only your own health. And I bet you guys that he's the only bodybuilder who goes three times to the bathroom a day or <laughs> yeah. because most the bodybuilders with all the protein, I think they take a, a crap like once a week. Yeah. yeah, another really important topic is fiber. Everybody, everybody's worried about protein, carbs, and fat, but nobody talks about fiber. Fiber is so essential to our diet and in our digestive system. The bodybuilder diet is unhealthy because yes. there's a ton of protein, uh, yes. meat, and once uh, 10 years ago, I, I woke up um, and then I developed kidney problems. Uh, Too much protein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's why plant-based was my answer. Excess of animal protein will uh, It'll It'll harm you in the, in the, in the long term. It'll catch up to you eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's the beautiful thing about plant-based nutrition is that it's filled with all of the properties that heal you from the inside. They don't do long-term damage. They actually heal you in many different ways. They reverse certain types of diseases. They heal you from the inside out. And health isn't just about the exterior. It's not about how good you look on the outside. That stuff doesn't matter when you're 50, 60 years old. What matters is your internal health and how healthy you are. So this is a diet that not only promotes the external health, but also promotes the internal health, and it'll help you keep that longevity and that, that time with your family and living healthily for a longer time in your life. I'm sure of that. An inspiration for those guys who want to be healthy, but who want to be big, because it's possible. I'm going to throw uh, like me my, my personal challenge at uh, I hope to, to see you next year.
show you my results because I want to right. I, like I want it. I want to show that, that it's possible 